Hey everyone, this is Alex or Poly Momo T, and today I have a video showing you how to make these silicone motif pierced earrings, and this will be my first series in Poly Momo T versus Kit. So for this kind of video, I will be talking in the video directly, and everything that you will be watching will be done as it happens rather than like a voiceover. So I'm just giving you a quick narrative while I go through like the opening of this sped up. But for everything else, it'll just be me trying to solve this with just picture instructions. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I just did that whole voiceover of me opening up all the packages and everything. So we're gonna go with the actual craft. So this is the first time I'm making a Japanese kit with instructions. I guess it's not my first Japanese kit. Well, it's the first time I'm making earrings, let's say that. So, they have pictures like this. Is this too bright? It looks a little too bright. It says a bunch of Japanese words and a picture. Since I can't read Japanese, I'm gonna go by the pictures. So that looks like the circle mold. And it seems like it's telling us to fill it up two thirds of the mold with UV resin and add some oyster shells, because that looks like oyster shells right here. So we're gonna do that. And this is the kit that I got from Sophie and Toffee, like I said before, and it came in one of their premier boxes. So here is, let me just zoom in. Here's the circle mold. Right here is the oyster shells. If I can open the package. Okay. So I'm going to fill up this mold with some UV resin. And since I got this from a Sophie and Toffee box, I should use Sophie and Toffee resin. Let's just fill that up nice and slow. Kind of shake it down. That looks pretty filled. It looks two thirds filled. Can't really tell. So I still haven't opened this yet. And we're gonna play some oyster shells. But honestly, these are so big that I don't think I could, I think I have to like craft them really quick. Okay, I'm just crumbling these so these can fit in this very skinny ring mold. Let's just place them all over, and yeah, they don't fit very well. Mm. These little crumbs fit really good, but I don't know if it looks like oyster shells at this point. Okay. I'm just gonna push it down with a toothpick. Oh, and if you hear some slurping sounds, that's my dog drinking some water right now. He likes to be really loud as soon as I record YouTube videos. That's like his favorite thing. And he's just walking around. Okay. So, I have this super filled. Back to the instructions. I think then it says to cure it. I assume this is one to three minutes under a UV lamp. So let's do that. And I'll be right back. So I have the little ring with the oyster shells all cured. Next, we're gonna do the second part. So we're going to step two. And it says 
put some more resin on top and put in this black squiggle stuff. I assume is this, which I think is glitter or black pearl pigment powder. And swirl it around and cure it, then flip it over and then cure it again. So then it should look like this, black and swirly. So let's do that. If you hear squeaks, my dog is also now squeaking with his toy. He just likes to do this right when I'm recording my YouTube videos. So we're going to start again with the slight layer of UV resin on top. And I'm going to put even less because we don't have that much space. Being do mine. We're going to open the black pearl pigment and there's a package within a package. I'm just going to dip a little toothpick into the UV resin and then dip it into this what is this? Oh, it's felt. Whoa, I was not expecting felt. Am I supposed to cover this in entirely? Whoa, it looks so hairy. I don't know if I like this. Was I supposed to put UV resin on this? Is this here to make it look black or is it to make it all felted in the back? Cause if it's to make it all felted, then I screwed up. Okay. That was really hard because this is very hard to work with and I don't know if I was supposed to do it this way. Maybe I'm just supposed to sprinkle it on top. Like, so put resin on top and then just let it kind of fall. I don't know, this is gonna be really messy though. Maybe I'll just dab it like that. Oh, maybe that's what I'll do, dab. I'll just keep doing that. And I think it's better. It's 100% messier, that's for sure. Okay, so now this is fully felty. So we're gonna cure this again, and I'll be right back. So I have my very hairy little ring right here. I don't like this still. And I'm going to slowly take it out of the mold, if I could even. There we go. Oh, I guess it looks pretty cool and fancy. I'm gonna cut off this excess stuff. And actually, this is gonna take a long time. I'll be right back. So, I had a genius idea. I'm getting some nail clippers. And I'm clipping away the extra because I had way too much felt. And look at that. It perfectly cuts it all off. I'm so proud of myself right now. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Now, I have to somehow cut the inside. And the nail clipper won't work for that. So. Now I'll actually be right back. Okay, it's all done, and I just kind of picked at it for the last 10 minutes, so it's all good. And I realized the problem is I'm using Sophie and Toffee's soft type resin, so this is squishable. And if I did hard type, it probably would just crumble off. Like I could probably just like break it off, but I didn't. So there's that. Now if you look super close. This actually looks pretty cool, like the pearl with like the black 
background actually looks pretty cool. Now, this reminds me, I don't know, if you, if any of you that are watching are Korean, you'd probably know what I'm talking about, but old Korean people have this obsession with mother of, like mother of pearl oyster shell things, and they're literally giant, ginormous black cabinets filled with like oyster shells like they're in these really cool intricate designs like very traditional like birds and deer and toads and turtles and stuff like that but that's what this reminds me of okay anyways we're gonna go on to step three step three i think we did already it's flip it over so the black part's on top and then we're gonna go on to step four which it looks like i'm supposed to dome it so, let's dome it. Use my resin. Ooh, this is, I have to be very careful. I can easily spill this. And that is a very uneven layer of resin. So let's see if I can just carefully push it out so it's even. And because I don't want to move it to my UV lamp, I'm just going to use this light. Flash it all around just so I can get a really good cure and then it'll go in the lamp. So yeah, I'll be right back. I am back with my ring and it has a really nice dome. Oh. Okay. I'm back with my ring and it has a really nice dome. Can't tell if it's even, but it looks pretty good and I didn't spill anywhere. So we're gonna go to step number five. It says add some UV resin to the top of this and add a pearl. So that's what we're gonna do and it says secure. So here are our pearls. Take one out. I'm gonna add some UV resin to the end of my Q-tip. And let's put it here. Let's put it at the flashiest spot, which is right here. Just dabbing on some UV resin and adding our pearl. And once again, this is too fragile to just put in the UV lamp. So, portable light, cure from the front, and care from the back. And put this in the UV lamp. So it is in the UV lamp right now, and while we wait for that, let's make this contraption, which has a little diamond with a loop, giant ring, two little loops, and this paperclip loop thing. So we're gonna be doing that. Here are the loops right here. And I believe I'll need th three. Wow, they give you, so they give you seven of these. Oh, here's one that's an actual chain. Okay. They really don't give you extras. Like if I lost it, it's game over right there. And then here is a big loop with the diamond. So I'm gonna grab some tweezers because this is very tedious work. We're gonna hold this here and open this up. Let's add the diamond first. Nope, I missed. Let's add the diamond again. And then the ring. Let's open up this a little bit more. And then add the ring, and it's still not fitting. There we go. And close this up. So, basic wire work. We have our little diamond. Now I'm gonna open one of these chains up. These chains are tiny. 
and attach this to the major ring. There we go. Like if you don't open this up all the way, like I pretty much bent it 90 degrees. It's the only way for this giant loop to fit. Okay, this thing right here. Oh, this is the earring backing. So it seems like this is supposed to be the earring backing right here. So let's open this one. Do I have to open it up? Yep, I have to open it up. Let's open up this last ring up here. Closing it. Sorry, there's not much commentary because I'm very focused right now. So now we have our ring that has a little pearl attached. And finally, I believe all I have to do is then super glue this backing right here. And it looks like there's a problem because my pearl sticks out a little bit too much from the back, so it sticks, doesn't fit in nicely. So there's a miscalculation on my part. Mm, but this is soft resin, maybe I could just force it through. And they want us to use UV resin again, because this is an all UV resin kit. So let's add that. Put this on like so. Let that cure. I'll put it under the UV lamp and I'll be right back. So we have our little backing on and this will be the step that we have to be really careful. We're gonna put our little backing onto this part. And here it is. Our mother of pearl, I mean, just pearl ring thing with a loop thing with a pearl with a little diamond. Yeah, I really, I think it's because I don't know fashion very well. I don't know if this will look good on anyone. Um, I definitely could add more pearls to this because it really doesn't have that much pearl shells. But. It was okay, I think the least favorite part was definitely the black felt in the back and trying to get it attached to this backing right here. Um, I mean, these instructions were pretty good though because the pictures just told the story and that's all you need really. I'm not going to make the second one. I'm going to keep this little loop thing and use it for something else and I'll probably honestly take this apart and use this loop thing for something else also, but I mean it was an interesting kit. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you liked about this kind of video where I actually commentate, commentary, where I actually like just say whatever's on my mind instead of like a recording voiceover. Um, and me trying out different kits like this. Anyways, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.